A water horse is a mythical creature, such as the Cephil da Micrama, K. Pale Wis, the Bar Currency CKAHA Currency Sten and Kelpie, as well as other water dwelling cryptids. Name Origin The term water horse was originally a name given to the Kelpie, a creature similar to the higher camp, that is the head, neck, and mane of a normal horse, legs like a horse, webbed feet, and a long, two lobed, whale like tail. The term has also been used as a nickname for lake monsters, particularly Ogopago and Nessie. The name Kelpie has often been a nickname for many other Scottish lake monsters, such as Eachwich and Morag of Loch Mora and Lizzie of Loch Lomond. Other names for these sea monsters include Seahorse and Hippocampus. The usage of water horse, or Kelpie can often be a source of confusion. Some consider the two terms to be synonymous, while others distinguish the water horse as a denizen of locks and the Kelpie of turbulent water such as rivers, fords, and waterfalls. Some authors call one creature of a certain place a Kelpie while others call it a water horse. The name water bull has been used for either creature. The Breton King Gradlin's magical horse of the sea Morvik was said to have the ability to gallop upon the waves of the sea, in a similar fashion to the water horses of Cornish legend. Other lake monsters, the water horse has often become a basic description of other lake monsters such as the Canadian Lake Okanagan monster Ogopago and the Lake Champlain monster Champ. Loch Mora is reputedly home to Morag, a lake monster that has been portrayed as a water horse. Settings Whilst most Scottish Celtic folklore places the water horse in a loch, some Breton and Cornish tales of water horses place them in the ocean, making them sea monsters. Most Highland loch have some kind of water horse tradition, although a study of 19th century literature of the time showed that only about 60 lochs and Iwachans merited a mention out of the thousands of bodies of water that make up Scotland. The water horse that was reputed to inhabit Loch Ness gained the most mentions in Highland literature. Sightings Water horse sightings were reported regularly during the 18th century, but it was not until the 19th century that sightings were recorded. In 1846 Captain Christmas of the Danish Navy reported sighting an enormous, long-necked beast pursuing a school of dolphins somewhere between Iceland and the Faroe Islands. He described the creature as having a horse-like head and a neck as thick as a man's waist moving gracefully like a swan's. At 5 p.m. on August 6, 1848 an officer of the Royal Navy Corvette HMS Daedalus noticed an unusual-looking animal swimming towards the ship. It was said to look similar to a sea serpent with a 1.2-meter long neck. Its head was about 38 or 41 centimeters long. It was reported to have no visible fins, flippers or tail and it had what appeared to be a horsey mane on its neck with seaweed washed over its back. In autumn 1883, two horse-headed beasts, one of them smaller than the other, were reported off the southern coast of Panama. The crew of the American whaler Hopon reported seeing a six-meter-long creature submerge. It was brownish colored with black speckles and four legs flippers with a tail that seemed to be divided into two parts, and all four limbs and tail were exposed when it reached the surface. A second creature that looked just like it only much smaller tagged along behind it. In the same year, a sighting of a similar looking creature occurred in the Bristol Channel. This creature was reported as leaving behind a greasy slug snail-like trail. References Further reading <laughs>